How fast does facial hair grow? On average man, the beard growth rate is half an inch per month. For some men, the rate will be slower than this, and for others, it can be faster, even more than one inch per month. The speed of your beard growth is controlled by things like your genetics, your levels of testosterone and DHT, your lifestyle habits, and how sensitive your body is towards the hormones that stimulate beard growth. It's a common misconception that your beard would grow as fast as the hair on your scalp and that they would be similar types of hair. In reality, most men's beards grow faster than scalp hair, and they're far from the same stuff, as the beard is actually androgenic hair that is driven by hormones, much like your body hair is, which is why neither start growing until you hit puberty. What is your beard growth goal? Before we move on with the article and look at what helps the beard grow, we should figure out what your goals are in the first place. Because believe it or not, the tips are a bit different for each purpose, be it growth speed stimulation, thickness, getting rid of patches, or just stimulating new growth entirely. Growing a thicker and fuller beard. If you have some beard growth already but it's not very dense and the coverage is just not there, then you should be focusing on growing a thicker, fuller, denser beard or making your beard look less like pubes. Stimulating new beard growth. If you currently have very weak or almost non-existent growth of beard naturally, then your goal should be stimulating new growth and activating dormant facial hair follicles. Don't get me wrong, this article does also help with that, but the one linked above is more geared towards the guys with barely any facial hair, to begin with. Fixing patchy facial hair and bald spots. I get how frustrating it can be if you have decent beard coverage on your chin and mustache area, but the cheeks, for example, grow in patchy and are filled with visible bald spots. If that's you, then you're in luck because we have dedicated a massive guide on fixing a patchy beard right here. The article talks about many similar things as this one, but it has some special tips on eliminating beard bald spots and helping you with filling the beard specifically. Making your pre-existing beard growth faster. Last but not least, there are the guys who have decent beard growth, but would just like to make theirs grow faster, stronger, and healthier. And that is where this article you're reading is especially handy, as we go over the exact tricks and tips for growing your facial hair faster naturally, aka. Stimulating the beard growth. What makes your beard grow faster? Okay, so there are scientifically proven ways to grow your whiskers at a faster rate, I promise we will get to them soon enough. But first, let's quickly look at the main mechanisms behind what actually controls the speed of your beard growth. Genetics. This is the boring fact that just is, well, a fact. Your baseline beard growing ability is dictated by your facial hair and hair genetics. Previously it was believed that these are passed down from the mother's side, but new research has found that it may not be true, but instead your beard growing genetics can come from either one of your parents. The most important thing to understand is that you are not limited by your genetics only on facial hair growth. It may seem too good to be true, but in 2019 there are well-proven methods of forcing beard growth to come in faster, thicker, and stronger. Beard Hormones and Receptors Facial hair is androgenic hair and the growth of it is regulated and maintained by two primary male hormones, testosterone and DHT. One study, in particular, noted that testosterone works to prime the follicles for growth and thickness, whereas DHT works directly to enhance linear beard growth and to mature the thin peach fuzz type of vellus hairs into thicker terminal hairs. But having high hormone levels alone is not the only thing you need for beard growth to occur, as the hormones also need to be absorbed from the bloodstream into the facial hair follicle cells. And to do that, you beard follicles have these special cells called androgen receptors, R. Your androgen receptors in the face need to be sensitive and active enough to bind T and DHT from the blood for beard growth to occur. Asian men who can't grow beards are a great example of this. That population has a genetic type where the androgen receptors are less sensitive and don't bind hormones from the blood as effectively. As a result, they can often have high testosterone levels, sometimes even higher on average than with Caucasian or African men have, but the unresponsive androgen receptors are holding back their ability to grow facial hair well. Circulation to the cheeks. Last but not least, you definitely need to have a good amount of blood flow going in and out of your facial hair area. Circulation is the main thing that delivers the nutrients, the hormones, and other growth factors and building blocks directly into the follicles. 
Below, in our tips and tricks, we have included multiple effective methods specifically for stimulating the blood flow to the beard area. How to grow beard faster naturally. 1. Eat foods proven to grow your beard faster. While there are no studies looking directly at what foods could make your facial hair spew out at a faster rate, we still have some evidence to lean on. And that comes from studies that look at foods and how they impact our beard growth hormones, DHT and testosterone. Since those two hormones are like fertilizer for your beard hairs, having higher levels is definitely going to help your man mane. Any foods that increase or decrease your levels, should therefore also either boost your beard growth rate or suppress it. Alfalfa Sprouts Last year a group of Japanese researchers divided 68 male subjects into two groups of 34 and put them on an interesting nutrition trial. The first group was given 50 grams of alfalfa sprouts to consume daily, and the second group got the same amount of broccoli. After a month, the researchers looked at the men's hormone profiles and compared them to the levels they had before the trial. What they found was that the men consuming alfalfa sprouts had increased their DHT levels by 21% and free testosterone levels by 14%. Since both DHT and free testosterone are closely associated with facial hair growth speed, thickness, and density, one could say that eating alfalfa sprouts is a fine way of making your own beard sprout faster as well. Olive oil. Olive oil is a staple food in the Mediterranean region. The area that is well known for its thick bearded men. As it happens to be, a Moroccan study actually looked if extra virgin olive oil could impact the androgenic hormones, again, the same hormones that stimulate beard growth. In their trial, young men switched their main source of fat to olive oil for two weeks, after which their testosterone levels were compared to the starting levels. Surprisingly, olive oil was able to boost their testosterone levels by a nice 17.4% which over a longer stretch of time, should help stimulate your facial hair to grow better. Olive oil is not only known for its healthy monounsaturated fats and a high amount of antioxidants, it's also pretty good for your beard growing hormones. Sorghum. Not many people are even aware of the ancient grain by the name of sorghum, but everyone interested in facial hair growth should be. In a study where cells were exposed to an alcohol extract of the grain, the levels of the enzyme 5-alpha reductase shot up by 54%. Why is this good news for beardsmen? Well, that same enzyme is responsible for producing DHT, a hormone associated with improved linear beard growth among other things. There's some evidence suggesting that sorghum may benefit the beard hormones. You could buy the whole grains such as these and pop them like regular popcorn, or you could get it as sorghum flour and use in your cooking, etc. Coffee. If you love coffee, then you're going to like what I'm about to say next. Coffee might legitimately make your facial hair grow faster. At least, it does seem to increase the hormone responsible for priming the beard follicles, testosterone. This has been seen in multiple human studies, as explained by the well-known examined COM, and there's also a rat study which found that coffee was able to boost DHT levels. On top of this, coffee is actually one of the best sources for daily antioxidants according to Healthline. So the next time you want to do a favor for your facial hair, get some light roast coffee that is high in caffeine, caffeine seems to be the main reason for the beard hormone boost, and have a cup or two. Raisins. You might not think that raisins could have anything to do with the health of your facial hair, but they just might help it grow better. The secret is within a little-known trace mineral hidden inside of them called boron. There's a whopping 3 mg of boron per 100 grams of raisins, and boron has been found to increase both testosterone levels and DHT levels, which as you should know by now, is really good news for your beard gains. Raisins might not look like much, but they could definitely boost your beard growth naturally. 2. Minoxidil is a proven beard stimulator. I have talked about minoxidil many times on this website, and so far it's the only proven beard growth activator with actual study to back up its use. That's right, a group of Thai researchers actually tested a 3% minoxidil solution on men's face and saw that it significantly increased the beard growth rate and the amount of new facial hair grown. The exact mechanism of minoxidil in promoting hair growth is still unclear but there are many hypotheses. In conclusion, minoxidil 3% lotion is effective and safe for beard enhancement. 
Sure, there is plenty of research behind this over-the-counter hair loss drug and how it stimulates the follicles at the top of the head, so it was only a matter of time that people would try and see if it worked like that on the facial hair as well. And it certainly does. There are at least 50,000 plus men who are currently using minoxidil on their beards across Reddit and Facebook groups and more and more impressive before after pictures pop up day after day. Here's a hundred of those to begin with. Now, can you name any other beard growth product that has anything similar to this? Thousands of before-afters that show increased beard growth. Dozens of studies showing how it stimulates the hair follicles. One study that proves it stimulates facial hair growth as well. Nope, you can't, because minoxidil is the only actually proven beard growth product, even though it's not even marketed for the beard area. Sure, minoxidil is not perfect. It has some side effects which we talk about more in detail in our Big Minoxidil for Beards guide, but for the majority of men, it's the next best thing since sliced bread. How to use minoxidil for faster beard growth. Get either Kirkland 5% like this or Rogaine 5% like this. Use 1 to 2 milliliters in 1 or 2 daily applications to your beard area. Allow it to absorb to your beard follicles for at least 4 hours. Do this for 3 to 12 months for the best results, it's not instant. What is the best minoxidil brand for facial hair? There is the original brand, Rogaine which does work but is the most expensive choice. Then there are generic brands, which also work just as well and are cheaper. It doesn't really matter what brand you get, as long as it has 5% minoxidil as an active ingredient and the same carrier liquids, alcohol and propylene glycol. I have personally used the Rogaine 5% like this right here, and it worked phenomenally well, but the only reason I used it is that I live in Finland and it's literally the only brand available. For someone who lives in the USA, you could save a lot of money and just get Kirkland 5% Minoxidil in a larger batch at Amazon. It works just as well but is simply much much cheaper. Bottom line, Minoxidil is an over-the-counter hair loss drug that many men use off-label to boost their beard growth rate. It works and is well proven anecdotally and in a study as well, but it's not completely free of side effects. 3. Some supplements could help beard growth. There are many beard growth supplements out there on the market these days, but most of them are straight up garbage. The handful of supplements which I'm about to share below will work to enhance your beard growth speed, and there's some pretty good proof of that too. But they are not the usual beard supplements, or at least not marketed that way. These don't have the big beard logos on the middle and beard, with big letters in the bottle, but they just plain and simply work. Multivitamin. You don't have to be much of an Einstein to figure out that deficiencies in minerals and vitamins can negatively impact your beard's health and growth rate. B vitamins like biotin, for example, are hugely important for the production of keratin, zinc deficiency is commonly associated with weaker hair growth, and multiple vitamins and minerals contribute to the synthesis of your beard growing hormones, testosterone and DHT. And while you can fix all of your underlying deficiencies by simply eating a wholesome nutritious diet, you could also add in a simple inexpensive multivitamin supplement to cover your bases. There are beard growth vitamins, like VitaBeard, Beardalyzer, Beard Grow XL, Iron Beard, etc. Yes I do know that, but they are often expensive and not that impressive in terms of what's inside of them. You can get much better bang for your buck by simply purchasing an inexpensive kitchen sink multivitamin like this, or if you want to pay a little more you could also opt for a really high quality vitamin and mineral supplement instead. Both of those options will be cheaper, when looking at cost per capsule, than the special beard vitamins, while still providing much more micronutrients to you in a higher quality. Bottom line, for many men, a simple multivitamin supplement can significantly speed up facial hair growth. Especially if they have underlying deficiencies. Carnitine. Carnitine is a non-essential amino acid that is well known as a lipid transporter. What it does is that it helps the body to shuttle short-chain fatty acids directly into the cells for energy use. What does that have to do with beard growth you ask? Well, there's a study by Foizik et al., which showed that through shuttling the fatty acids into the hair follicle cells, carnitine can actually activate dormant follicles by shifting them into the anagen beard growth stage. 
There are also two studies by Dr. William J. Kremer which showed that about 2 grams of carnitine per day, was able to increase the sensitivity of the androgen receptors in men, ref, ref. For beard growth, that's also amazing news, as the androgen receptors within your facial hair follicles will need to bind with androgens testosterone and DHT for beard growth to occur. And if carnitine helps to increase the sensitivity of the receptors, it should definitely also increase your beard growth at the same time. The studies both used salt-bound carnitine in the form of L-carnitine L-tartrate. You can buy it as bulk powder from Amazon and mix with water, for example, there's barely any taste to it so it's easy to use. Makuna Purians. This is something most people wouldn't even imagine could do anything to your beard growth. It's a herb commonly used in India by the name of Makuna Purians, velvet bean, and it contains a very interesting compound called L-dopa. So what can it do for the beard? Well for one it does seem to increase the levels of the beard hormone testosterone levels in humans, rats, and even birds. The L-dopa in it is also known as an androgen receptor co-activator protein, and as you know, you need those active androgen receptors to grow a stronger better beard. You can get Makuna Purians from Amazon as an extract that has been standardized for L-dopa, and that would be my recommendation over the pure powder version. 4. Boost Beard Circulation. Your beard hairs need a constant flow of hormones and nutrients into the follicles for them to sprout strong and fast. And what supplies these beard growing nutrients and hormones into the roots of the facial hair is your blood flow. The blood supply to the cheek area is commonly said to be weaker than the rest of the face such as the upper lip or the jaw. As a result, the upper cheeks are the patchiest and hardest to fill part of facial hair in most men's faces. Below are two key methods of improving your beard's circulation naturally. Face massage. Just start from a daily face massage. It doesn't have to be a long one, just something like 5 minutes per day should bring about noticeable benefits. Make sure to focus on the pressure at the cheek area especially, as this will most likely be the area with the weakest flow. Beard exfoliation. The easiest way to unclog the pores and remove dead skin cells that may be trapped underneath your beard is as simple as you can imagine. You just need to exfoliate the skin underneath your beard. The best way to make sure this happens is to brush your beard daily with a stiff bore bristle beard brush. Another great method is through using a beard exfoliator scrub once or twice per month. These are not much different from regular face scrubs, they're just bit more liquidy for better access to the under beard skin. If you would like to exfoliate your beard in the shower, you could even opt for a special in-shower beard scrubber with silicone bristles. Bottom line, your beard needs good blood flow and unobstructed growth pathways to grow faster. Face massage and beard exfoliation can help you accomplish both. 5. Stop these beard killers in their tracks. Sometimes speeding up the beard growth is not about things you can do to stimulate the follicles, but instead, things that you should be avoiding that could slow down your beard's growth potential. Below are six of the top things that are damaging your beard and suppressing its natural growth ability. If you do any of them or many of them, you simply slow your beard progress down. Beard killer number one, stress. Stress can be hard to control, and sadly, I'm unqualified to give any tips on mitigating it. However, the fact still remains that chronic stress brings about chronically elevated cortisol levels, and this stress hormone can suppress your beard growing hormones. Bottom line, men who are under chronic stress experience weaker beard growth as a result of elevated stress hormones. Beard killer number two, picking the beard. Got that fancy new beard comb and now you can't help but pick and comb through your whiskers all day long? Well, stop that my dear friend. While there isn't anything bad about occasionally combing your beard, doing it too often or just simply picking and fiddling around with your beard all day will lead to beard damage, slow beard growth, and in extreme cases even beard hair loss. Bottom line, there's nothing that can be gained from constantly fiddling and picking the beard, and unless you have a hair pulling disorder like trichotillomania, then it should be really easy to just quit that habit. Beard killer number 3, washing the beard too often. Overwashing the beard is a massive beard mistake that far too many beardsmen are guilty of. You see, as androgenic hair, the beard is much more reliant on the natural moisture that is provided by the sebaceous glands attached to your facial hair follicles. And shampoo, especially generic hair shampoo, is designed to strip away oil and sebum. 
It's perfectly fine to shampoo your scalp hair daily, but the same does not apply to beards. Most grooming experts recommend that you wash your facial hair only with gentle beard shampoos and that you do it just one to three times per week at the maximum. Washing your beard daily is a one-way ticket to the itchy beard, the beard of city, and beard split ends. And since some of the fat-soluble beard hormones are also transported with the sebum, stripping your beard of it daily could also suppress your beard growth speed. Note, if you feel that your beard gets dirty and needs a daily wash, then consider something called the beard coat washing method, which means that you only wash your beard with a beard conditioner and use no shampoo at all. Beard Killer Number 4, Heat Damage. If you have ever been growing out a long beard, you know that facial hair, when it gets longer, has a tendency to curl around like crazy. To help alleviate that, most men blow dry their beards or turn to beard straighteners for help. Both of those methods are fantastic for straightening the beard, but sadly also cause significant heat damage to the whiskers if not done properly. The two links above have guides on how to safely straighten your beard with both of the popular tools. Bottom line, I'm not saying you should never blow dry or straighten a beard with heat brushes or straightening irons, but if you do it extensively, with too high heat, and for too long, then you will run into some beard heat damage eventually. Beard Killer Number 5, DHT Blocking Essential Oils. Surprisingly many beard oils are scented with essential oils that can suppress the master beard growing hormone, DHT. And while there are many many oils that actually negatively impact this hormone even some carrier oils, the ones that you should really care about are the eucalyptus essential oil, the tea tree essential oil, and lavender essential oil. All of these three oils contain multiple compounds that can interfere, even in minuscule amounts, with DHT and testosterone. This is very obvious if you read through this press release from Endocrine Society, which quite literally says, chemicals in lavender and tea tree oil appear to be hormone disruptors. Bottom line, there are dozens of great smelling essential oils that won't suppress your DHT and are perfectly fine for beard growth. I don't see the reason why companies are still putting these possibly harmful essential oils into their beard oils today. Beard Killer Number 6, Relaxing Creams. There's a new rising trend in the beard care industry and that is the beard relaxing cream. It's the most effective method of straightening a beard for sure, as it quite literally breaks the keratin bonds inside of your facial hair fibers and makes them straight and flat. But this straightening comes with a price that you will pay through beard damage and a slower rate of facial hair growth. This is how a well-known expert on the topic of relaxing creams explains the damage they can cause. Black women that relax their hair straight from the age of 20 to 40 will lose 50% of their hair strands, the result of long-term chemical use is that the follicle will not produce new hair, causing premature baldness, and having to turn to the use of wigs, weaves and braiding. Bottom line, if your beard comes in curly, then let it come in curly or use a blow dryer, heat brush to tame the whiskers. Going all extreme with a keratin bond breaking relaxing cream is not recommended, it'll literally kill the beard from inside out. 6. Try Peppermint Oil in 3% Dilution. DIY Peppermint Oil for Beard Growth I was against using peppermint oil for beard growth stimulation for a long time due to some studies suggesting that when you consume it orally, it might drop testosterone levels. And dropping tea is obviously not really good for the beard. However, there's no evidence that topical use of peppermint essential oil PEO, would interfere with hormones, and even better, there's a study which suggests it might stimulate the hair follicles to increase in number, size, and both the thickness and speed of their hair growth. This evidence comes from a study in mice, where four groups of rodents were shaved and four different solutions were applied to their skins for 30 days. These included Saline Solution, Control Jojoba oil, Simoncia chinensis. 3% solution of liquid minoxidil. And 3% dilution of peppermint oil, Mentha X piperita. What happened was that the salt water solution did pretty much nothing to stimulate hair growth, and jojoba oil had a very marginal positive effect. And minoxidil, as you might expect, worked quite well, significantly improving the growth rate and thickness of hairs. But then there was a big surprise, the peppermint essential oil, which was even more effective at stimulating the hair follicles than minoxidil. The researchers measured various things in this study, and they saw that the peppermint oil works primarily through increasing the levels of IGF-1 growth hormone within the follicles. 
This results in more active follicles, increased hair thickness, diameter, more hairs transitioning into the antigen growth phase, and overall, faster beard growth. Of course, the big limitation of this study is that these were indeed mice, not humans. But could the results translate to increased beard growth potential in a human male? We think they could. After all, mice are studied because they share very similar reproductive and digestive systems as humans do, and there have been previous human studies where increased IGF-1 has been shown to stimulate the follicles and help shift more hairs into the antigen growth phase. So if applying a 3% dilution of PEO to your skin results in increased facial hair follicle IGF-1 levels, then it's also likely that it would help speed up beard growth. How do you make a 3% solution from pure peppermint oil? Well, you dilute it into a carrier oil, never rub pure essential oils into the skin, they're extremely potent and will burn like hell. Here's a simple guide to making 3% PEO solution. Get one 1 ounce dropper bottle. Fill the bottle almost to brim with jojoba oil, good brand. Buy some 100% pure peppermint essential oil, good brand. Drip approximately 18 drops of PEO into the dropper bottle. Close the cap, shake well, and you have your 3% PEO. You can use this solution on your beard area twice per day, and you could also combine it with minoxidil, and use it as a beard moisturizer after you have had the minox on your beard area for approximately 4 hours. 7. Microneedle the beard 1 to 2x per week. If you want to promote the circulation on your face to grow more beard on cheeks and to convert those thin little light vellus hairs into a thicker terminal beard, then you should microneedle. What that means is getting a device called the derma roller with needle length of either 0.5 mm or 0.75 mm, I personally use and recommend this one. How the derma roller works on beard is very simple. You roll through your beard area with the derma roller. The tiny needles puncture small holes into the skin surface. The body notices this and it starts the repair process. Nutrients, blood, and hormones are shuttled to the scene. Indirectly, this supplies building blocks for your beard hairs. There is currently one study about this but it was done on scalp hair. Regardless, it showed that when used in combination with minoxidil, men were able to get much better results if they derma-rolled and used minox instead of just using the hair loss drug alone. Will similar results be obtainable for beard growth enhancement? I believe so. There are also many positive anecdotal reports from thousands of guys who microneedle their beards at the Minox Beard Spot group on Facebook. I go through all the details of how to use a derma roller for beard growth in this article here, but if you just want the quick facts, just get a 0.5 to 0.75 mm roller and use it once per week on the beard area. 8. Optimize the beard care routine. One of the easiest things to do for stimulating beard growth on a pre-existing beard is to take a look at your current beard care routine. The first thing to check would be your beard oils, beard balm, and beard waxes to see if they have any beard growth suppressing ingredients like tea tree oil, eucalyptus, or lavender oils. Next up you should make sure that you're not brushing or combing your beard too often to avoid stress on the follicles. Brushing once per day is enough, and combing two to four times is plenty enough. Then let's move into cleaning the beard. Make sure you actually use a dedicated beard wash instead of harsh generic shampoos and don't wash the beard too often, just a couple times per week is enough. Lastly, make sure to also care for the beard from the inside, as in drink enough of water, eat enough of food, beard growth is an energy expensive process, and make sure to get all the necessary vitamins and minerals your body needs to spew out facial hair. 9. Lifestyle Hacks to Improve Your Beard there are many lifestyle-related basic things that you could optimize for speedier facial hair growth. These are the basic things that everyone subconsciously knows can help, but really aren't doing them, and even though they may seem kinda boring, they can still boost beard growth quite significantly over a longer stretch of time. Let's take a look at the top three. Sleep more. It's hard nowadays to get to bed on time. There's Netflix, HBO, YouTube, and million other things you could be doing instead, and it's starting to feel like a chore to get to sleep early. However, sleep is something we should not be delayed, as it has been shown that when men cut their sleep time by just an hour or two, their testosterone levels are immediately lowered for the next day. 
Since it's a hormone of beard growth, lack of sleep will eventually catch up and slow down your beard growth rate for sure. Exercise and lift weights. Any type of daily activity is known for increasing the hormones that fuel facial hair growth, and it can also improve your circulation especially to the beard area. But the best type of exercise for facial hair growth purposes would be heavy weight lifting and explosive resistance training because it activates the androgen receptors. Bottom line, sensitive and activate androgen receptors are good news for beard growth, and since resistance training can help with this, I suggest you start doing it. Stay lean. Having a somewhat low body fat percentage can help you increase facial hair growth, simply because fat mass is known for breaking DHT down into a less potent byproduct called 3-ADL source. So technically your belly is breaking down the hormone that builds your beard at a faster rate. Does that mean fat guys can't grow beards? No, absolutely not. It's just likely that being lean would help them grow theirs even thicker. How I grew a better beard using these tips. I really struggled with my beard growth in my early 20s and in the military, I barely had to even shave to maintain a clean face. I knew I didn't have too great of beard genetics to work with looking around the men in my family, but I decided to give it a shot anyway and see if I truly could beat my genetics with natural testosterone optimization, circulation optimization, minoxidil, derma rolling, etc. Did it work? Well, yes absolutely. It's the reason I started this site too. Going by frame by frame, I had just gotten out of the military in and started focusing on boosting my beard growing hormones in the first pick. It worked quite well, as you can see in the second frame, I already have much more facial hair to work with, including some on the cheeks. On the third picture, I have added in a derma roller and more focused supplementation routine specifically for beard growth, carnitine, multivitamin, macuna purines, gelatin powder, and forskolin. My point is that these beard growth tips do work, and I have tried them myself. It just takes some time and commitment to get the results, as beard growth is not an overnight process, especially if you're fighting against your genetics. Can you grow beard faster as a teenager? You would be surprised if I showed you how many young teens email me asking how to stimulate beard growth as a teen. My email inbox is literally flooded with questions like, how to grow a beard faster at 16, or 15, 18. My answer is that yes, you can use the above tips to grow your beard faster as a teenager, as androgenic hair can be stimulated as soon as you are going through puberty and your hormones properly kick in. Before that, it's not really effective and wouldn't make any sense in the first place. So I would recommend most of the stuff from this list if you're looking to speed up your beard growth as a teen, but not minoxidil. That stuff is potent and has some side effects, and it's best to save it for later if your facial hair doesn't come in naturally. Beard growth products, should you use them? Looking at beard growth oil bottle short answer. No. Long answer. Those flashy beard growth products that are sold everywhere are nothing but modern-day snake oil. You got the beard growth serums and sprays, the beard growth oils, special beard vitamins and pills, and other sorts of beard growth creams and whatnot. All of them tend to be just dropper bottles or sprayers with basic carrier oils and essential oils, the same stuff that's in regular beard oils. If they're supplements, they are often just very low-quality multivitamins with a beard logo on the bottle and a huge price tag, with an illusion that it would be somehow specially formulated for facial hair growth, which they never are. Honestly, I would just save my money if I were you. The market for beard growth products exists solely to make empty promises on desperate men looking to grow beards. Don't fall prey. Can beard oil speed up beard growth? No, it can't. Beard oil is designed to moisturize the facial hair and to replenish the natural oils that you lose during the shower, etc. The formulations contain just basic carrier oils like castor oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, etc. with some essential oils like cedarwood, orange, patchouli, and so forth. None of these ingredients can make your beard grow, and even though most manufacturers will say that it makes existing hairs grow faster and provides optimal growth conditions, the fact is that if you can't grow a beard, moisturizing your face won't grow it any better. You need something stronger if the goal is to stimulate beard growth, something like minoxidil, combined with a derma roller, and a high-potency peppermint oil dilution. Conclusion 
You can absolutely grow your beard faster naturally, and there's plenty of proof for that above. Dot.